Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for November 2018. Welcome to my channel, Soul Star 444. Let's get right into it. You have a wonderful reading. We start off with the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about prosperity. This is all about you meeting your goals through ambition and determination. This is about you achieving um, exceptional grades and education through your dedication and commitment and perseverance. This is all about apprenticeship and doing quality work. And this is you meeting all of your goals through dedication to every detail in your professional life. You take great pride in your work that you do. And this is also about you may be focusing at this time on a home-based business and creating a project and you aim for perfection. This is about being financially um, stable because you are rewarded for your achievements and know that you can achieve whatever you want. You can achieve your dreams you can achieve your desires, you can manifest them by believing in yourself and continuing to make that dedication and commitment. Then we have the Nine of Wands, which is all about strength, hard work, and staying positive. Even though you may be feeling tired at this time, for for what you have gone through is a complete battle to get where you are right now so be gentle with yourself as you move forward with your dreams and goals be proud of what you've achieved and look forward to where you would like to go next then we have judgment so this is all about decision this is about spiritual awakening as well as forgiving yourself and forgiving others for a situation. This is also about uh, perhaps the past may return. This is about past uh, lives and relationships coming back into your life to resolve an issue with you. And this is about you learning from your past mistakes so that you can move forward. And then you also received the Ten of Pentacles, which is the luckiest card in this deck. It's all about prosperity and uh, in all of its forms. And that could be weddings, gifts, real estate, investments. This symbolizes retirement. This is about wealth. This is also about happiness and joy home, the happiness of home, and so on and so forth. Okay, Virgo, let's see what the romance angels have a message for Virgo, please. Okay, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So if you have been feeling that you've had to keep your heart guarded, you can let your guard down because it's safe for you to open your heart and give and receive love. Another message for Virgo. Another angel message for Virgo. Okay. The message is unrequited, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so perhaps you need to look at your love life a little more seriously and make decisions to release so that you can move forward.
Okay, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so perhaps you've become aware of a childhood wound and you, that can now be brought up to the surface for healing through forgiveness and that happens through your heart, not your mind. So whatever seems to come up is what needs to be healed. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Opening up the communication lines and discussing your feelings, thoughts, and emotions. Okay, so this is all about loving yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you might ask yourself, well, how do I do that? Just start taking the steps that you give so much of yourself to others and start giving back to yourself. Start filling your cup up by doing things that are lovingly kind to yourself. That could be the way you talk to yourself, your self-talk, the way you treat yourself. How, you, how do you reward yourself when you do something really well? Taking time out for healing and for having some fun. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day and talk to you soon.